Welcome to Embrace Yourself. My name is Kim and I'm a movement specialist passionate about joy, health, and happiness. I want each of us to discover our healthiest, happiest selves, but to do that, we have to get up and move. The problem many of us face is that we're living a sedentary lifestyle. So we're noticing that our anterior front side part of the body sling is slouched, rounding forward, pulling us further and further into flexion. In the meantime, our posterior sling, the back side, doesn't have the strength to hold us upright. So today I'd like to teach us some movements that you can incorporate into your daily routine while you're working at the office, perhaps even while you're sitting in front of the television. You might be able to do it while you're sitting at one of your children's baseball or soccer games. Now, you can do these with or without equipment. Most of us don't have equipment in our home, so we have to be creative. So today I'm doing it in my office, where many of us spend a bulk of our time, and I'm going to use a handy tape dispenser and a stapler. Now you want two items that are relatively similar in weight, but you can also, in your repetitions, switch between hands so that you start balancing out those muscles. Additionally, if you want, there is an option to just work one sling, one side of the body at a time, and then switch. This actually helps create a core challenge, which would make the exercise ideal. To begin, I'd like to focus on first mobilizing that sling, the anterior posterior sling combination. So I'm sitting rounded over my electronic device and you'll notice you start to just feel like, oh, there's tension in the head, the neck, the back. Ideally, what I'd like for you to do is place your hands against a table, a desk, whatever you have that's in front of you. And I want you to take your shoulders up, pull them back and draw them down. Now I'm gonna show you in both directions. I lift the shoulders up, pull them back and then drop them down. When you're doing that, you're helping set the shoulder blades or the scapula, if you think about your wings in the back, you're setting those down so that you're having to engage the back side of the body. What many people will do and you wanna watch for is, they will flare that rib cage and I hope you can see that flare. That's not what we want to do because that puts way too much load on our lumbar spine. So think about cinching that core, kind of using your belt. Lift up, pull back, drop down. You could do this a few different times and you'll notice I even round to lift, pull, and down. That way I'm working through a full range of motion, doing more of a shoulder circle, but the entire time, I'm keeping my ribs engaged. So you can just stay here holding. And then if you want a little added challenge, because people are always saying to me, how can I incorporate some weight work? You can add very gentle little dips into your desk, okay? So these are like mini push-ups, but notice I'm not having to weight bear my entire body. So that's important because for many of us, we don't yet have the strength in our scapular region, which is again in the back, so that we can actually do a push-up correctly. What I see oftentimes, especially in various gyms, is I watch people trying to do a push-up and they're rounding through their upper back, dropping their neck. And so basically it's like they're taking all their load into their shoulders. That's not what a push-up was meant to be. It's meant to be engaging in the core. So this is a great way for those of us who are just starting out to start working on building up that strength and building up mobility. So you'll see I'm just wrapping the shoulder blades and releasing. Wrap the shoulder blades and release. You will be amazed how that movement alone requires so much connection and it's fatiguing to our bodies because we don't do it that often anymore. So that's the first exercise and that's just kind of your prep. We're lifting, rolling down, and then we're adding those presses. You could do five, 10, 15, it doesn't matter. We just need to get moving. I'll have people say to me, oh, Kim, I absolutely hate exercising, or oh, do I have to work out? 
Well, oh my gosh, think of the alternative. We could be in a wheelchair. To me, what a gift that we're able to get up, move, do a workout and exercise. So I hope you start finding that little bit of inspiration just by doing some daily movements. Movement is life and it's joy and happiness. So now I'm going to add one apparatus today. You play around. If you don't have a tape and a stapler, don't worry about it. You could use some pads of paper. You could find maybe a container with some pens or pencils. Get creative. That's what makes it so much fun. So from here, I'm going to take my arms out front. And now I want you to notice many people will start to elevate their shoulders because the minute I add a weight, I don't have the strength to lift that weight. So I'm going to find some mechanism to achieve the exercise. So check yourself, draw those shoulder blades down and back. From here, all I'm going to do is draw my shoulder blades together by wrapping my shoulders around, let's say an imaginary foam roller. And then I lengthen the arms to release. So I pull the belly in and I wrap, 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 and then I release. Now I want you to notice the difference between pulling with my arm that is super easy because my arms, I've got bicep strength, I can pull instead of more of a wrap. I'm initiating the movement from my scapula, those shoulder blades. Now I will tell you, I have a lot of clients that struggle with this because we have turned off that posterior sling. They have no idea how to get there. If this is a challenge for you, I want you to try and find something, a foam roller. Maybe you could use your door frame and you want to stand with your back against that frame and practice wrapping those shoulder blades around the door frame, around the foam roller. We have got to start mobilizing that back again so that we can come nice and tall and long. So if I have these tools or any others that you prefer, I'd go ahead and do maybe five, 10, whatever number of repetitions you can do and do them well. When you start to feel the shoulders elevate, stop, take a break. You can add more tomorrow. In addition to that, I want you to move slowly through the repetition because many times what I see in people at the gym Everybody is in a hurry and we're in a hurry to get our workout done. But when we're using momentum, momentum is never our friend at the gym. It is not a good thing. I want to move slowly with control and with focus. I want to be present, embracing my body right now as strong as it is, or if there are areas of opportunity for me to build strength. So sometimes I'll think four counts, three counts, two counts and one, and then release back out that same count. That is your home fun for today. How easy is that? Could you not take a TV remote and do one sling at a time while you're sitting in front of the television? Then swap. Just keep in mind, however many repetitions you do on one side, you have to do the same on the other. I hope you find this helpful. And if you do, please click subscribe on the YouTube channel. And my son just taught me today, there's something called a bell. Click the bell so that you get notifications because I keep promising you I'm doing this every day. So I'm looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Please feel free to like and comment as well. I really appreciate everyone who's been watching. Thanks so much and I'll see you tomorrow.